besides footage, I've got people who are helping me uh, gather gather information, gather intel uh, on what's really going on as far as the police, as far as the Department of Works, as far as what do they do with all the stuff that they take from these people? What do they do with this? What do they, where does this go? Why are they doing this? Why don't they just put up simple signs and say, move by this day instead of waking them up first thing in the morning and surprising them? All these things that... I don't want to just show the problems. I want to show possible solutions you know, myself. I don't know what, what your story is, but myself, that's what I want to do is show possible solutions, you know, because it's tearing the city apart. It's tearing it apart. So I'm asking a buddy of mine. I said, hey, uh, your girl's in there sleeping, man. You're sitting in your chair falling asleep. Why don't you go to sleep? And he goes, what are you, stupid? I says, what do you mean? He says, if me and her both go to sleep, I'll wake up. There'll be nothing around us. We'll be robbed clean. I, sa I says, so when was the last time you slept with your girl? And he goes, six months maybe? I says, I'm gonna park my chair right across the street, go to sleep, man. I parked my chair there for 12 hours while he and his girl were in the tent sleeping. And they got up and they were just so thankful that they got to hold each other again for a few hours. And affection, love, you know, it's even the love that they give each other, that they, that they you know, if you're one of them, they won't steal from you. But if you're not one of them from their neighborhood, you might get got. But it can, you can get it back and this and that because there's this underground police force that happens amongst the homeless.